Hi, I'm Brad Cameron from Cameron Hypnotics in Newcastle, Australia. This is another video in my series on metaphors, metaphors for hypnotherapy. I just call this letting go and flying. It's a beautiful metaphor that I like to weave in, or there's a series of metaphors built in that I like to weave into a hypnosis session. So the client is in hypnosis. And this is for people who are either holding on to something, could be old emotions, could be holding on to anger, resentment, can't move on, they're stuck. So the metaphor goes something like this. I'm speaking with a client and I'm suggesting to them that as they are there so calm and so peaceful and so relaxed, I wonder if they could ever imagine what it would feel like if they could fly. I know I used to dream of that when I was a kid, flying, being free. Now, you don't have to imagine you have wings or feathers, but just imagine how special you would feel to be able to fly. But before you do take flight, I wonder if you could just look around and notice the chains and the anchors that are holding you back from your right to be free. Now, some of these chains and anchors might represent old thoughts, limiting thoughts, limiting patterns, old beliefs that are no longer true, negative thoughts, all of these things that are holding you onto the ground. And I wonder if you can feel the weight of those chains. Are they rough or smooth? Or maybe both in different parts. And what do these chains represent as they hold you down? And if they could talk, what would they say? Perhaps I'd say you can't fly. And knowing that misery loves company, they might be saying, stay with us here on the ground. But as you look closely at those binding links, you start to notice something really interesting about those chains. You might be noticing what they represent. It might be things that someone said to you as a child or something that's happened to you or a recurring pattern that perhaps you have invited into your life. All of these things about these chains. But there's one thing that you are now noticing about those chains is that those chains aren't holding you. You are holding on to them no matter what those chains represent. I wonder what would happen if you started to let go of those chains, if you started to let go of other people's comments, other people's put downs, other people's actions, your own limiting beliefs because you are your body's keeper. You are responsible for your own well-being, your own happiness, your own freedom. And just as misery loves company, success leads to more success. And if you could imagine looking up and seeing other people flying, how happy do they look up there, free from their old habits here on the ground? So to whatever extent that you truly want to be free, now is the time to let go of those chains. Now is the time to let go of anything that's been holding you back. Let go of the old hurt. Let go of the old pain. Let go of the old misery. other people's stuff, just let it go. 
So I wonder, as you're now finding yourself letting go of more limiting beliefs, and you start to notice a lightness within you as you realize that as you let go, you feel incredibly good inside. It feels so good just to be you, to be free. And you realize now that you can just let go now. Knowing that confident people will fly with other confident people. Successful people will find other successful people. Other people who are truly free will just fly with each other. So I'm just going to be quiet for a few moments to allow you to fly, to explore, flying into a future, a new future of your creation. Dot, 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 dot. So that's what we're doing. We're empowering people, our clients, to let go of stuff, to let go so they can fly. Whatever inductions, whatever hypnosis techniques we, we are using to get people into a trance. It's what we do when, when they are in trance. That's where the work begins. Play with that. Use it. Put your own words, your own phrases, your own techniques in there. It's a lovely metaphor, and you can build in more, more metaphors. So for me, it's the chains. What do those chains represent? And while people are thinking about what do those chains represent, I then put in the big one, which is, but you've just realized those chains aren't holding you. You are holding onto those chains. So use it. And if this is of interest to you, check out the other videos that I have on YouTube. And I certainly look forward to bringing a lot more to you. And if you want to check out me for more information, go to www.cameronhypnotics.com.au. See you later.